I really, I got to start the show off by saying I, I do really like the shirt. Thank you. It was, uh, it's, uh, I wore it for the uh, occasion. It's, uh, got a nice yeah. thing. It's got everyone got on there. On the back. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's got the, got the, uh, the squad, the, the uh, unusual squad, the usual suspects. Indeed. No, indeed. Indeed. How you been, man? I've been really good. How about you? Uh, you know, hanging in there. Can't can't complain. Everybody, everything's been good. Channel's been good. Um, life's been good. Can't complain. Same, dude. Yeah, I got some cool stuff happening soon. Uh, super exciting. Uh, and you know, nice start to the new year, more or less. More or less, yeah. I get you. And we're gonna get to that cool stuff uh later on in this episode because i do want to talk about it uh you've been on quite the journey uh after haunt season a little bit a little bit busy i see uh making some dreams come true just a little bit just a little bit right yeah i'm super excited um let's take it back before that though uh haunt season 2023 50th Mm. anniversary not scary farm Mm. carn evil uh what year is it year three for you uh, yeah, this last year was year three for me. Um, it feels like, dude, it feels like just yesterday. Like, it's insane to me. It's like, I, like uh, yeah, it feels like just yesterday. I was just walking out there with a proppy potato head, like, fucking mask on from big Party wig. City. Big, big wig, got the hat looking all dapper and stuff and walking around on my ankles and and just scuttling around uh, like a little degenerate and now i'm uh now i'm like i mean i i now, let's say that you got a face i got a face i got i i've got uh you're vocal i'm vocal i'm sliding i'm doing a lot of uh stuff that that uh i didn't i didn't think i would be doing uh like when i when i first started and it's like uh it's been quite a journey, and uh, there's still much more to come. Much more. We're not, we're, I, I think you're in, you're just now hitting your. You know, you're not even in your prime yet. You know, it's like you're still yeah. building it. So it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm. I feel like I'm. I feel like this year is kind of the year that I kind of was just getting into my stride. You know, kind of fig, kind of figuring out what I can bring to the table, like really, and and uh, kind of figuring out my place in the whole in the big carnival machine if you will and it's um it, it was so much fun this year um like definitely uh like i mean it's hard to compare to the first year because you have that rookie like 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 uh i don't know magic to it that makes it just feel so much cooler um and then we of course won the golden haunt when that was a thing and and you know so it's it's hard to beat my first year but i feel like as far as accomplishments go i feel like this year um really for me at least personally i, I feel like uh i uh, accomplished a lot this year and i'm pretty proud of what i was able to do no you i mean i i was there at least once every weekend this this year you know and 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 carnival was a frequent spot we would make our rounds to every every night that we were at the event so you know i got to see you i got to see you interact with others i got to see you interact with your um your fellow monsters you know and and so you know it was really cool there was a lot of new faces out there in carnival this year that you know killed it there's a lot of there was a lot of rookies that came in on on the first first year ever on streets killed it yeah um we had some powerhouse rookies this year like for real i i honestly i'm i i uh i mean i i'm all i live to see like the new faces in carnival because i I, like even though it's only been three years every time i see a new face i see me and it's like and so I'm I'm always so excited to see what new things get brought to the table and and uh like so many times they'll they'll do something someone will have some bit or some character and I'll be like holy shit dude that is cool <laughs> right like I mean I get excited seeing that stuff cuz I'm like oh <laughs> like I and I I love seeing it in action it's it's so much fun uh, yeah dude I agree um so talk to me how it was uh, after auditions and everything when you got the uh, 
the notice of you're going to be working Carnival for the 50th. Like, that must have been mind-blowing to you, especially because, you know, Knott's was the first major theme park to do a haunt, and, and this has grown, you know, so much within the last 50 years within other theme parks all around the world, and this was the originator. And to celebrate the 50th anniversary, you know, and you scaring there, how was that for you? I mean, was there any sense of, like, nervousness were you just kind of intimidated because it was the 50th like how what was your your kind of your mental 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 state going in mental state going in that's a <laughs> that's a conversation oh yeah so um so as far as like the 50th anniversary goes it's i mean it's like i've been a part of this community for like 3 years now it's already such a big part of my life but like it's it's it, like i'm still so new to it all so like you know 50th anniversary is pretty cool, like, but you know, it, it doesn't have as much of a bearing to me because I haven't been here for that long. Um, even though it's like, hell yeah, 50th, let's do this thing. Um, and I, it, it was more of a big deal for me because I got of the people there and I knew a lot of people who are going to be hanging up the hat and, 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 uh, retiring. Um, and I was really, um, excited to see them on their last year and, and, um, my mental state going into it. Uh, so 2022 was not the best year for me. Uh, not in terms of just like in general, but specifically haunt. Uh, like, I mean, I did good. I had fun um, looking back on it, but you know, mental state just wasn't really the best. And uh, so going into this year was very much a like changing of the mindset and just being like, okay, like, I I have to go into this like for me I have to go into this like with with confidence and uh really just kind of, and, a, and a sense of purpose I think um and really just kind of try to make every single day like like cuz you know when you don't have that rookie like glow to everything that you're doing anymore it starts to become very like oh like okay just another day and you know yeah. Like even 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 this year, like I, dude, like it n days and nights just blended together, dude. I it felt like I never left that break room. <laughs> like I would, <laughs> like it's insane. I would just be like, God, I, I. It felt like it felt like uh like a time loop, you know, like one of those TV shows where you're like stuck in a constant time loop and you're just you like wake up. You take a you shower, wake up and you go, or so you know what I mean, yeah. like all that. You know, you yeah. same routine, waking up, then showing up to your job, doing the same yeah. thing, and like. And you know when you when, when you go to bed so late, you you end up sleeping in more, and that's all well and good. But that means I've only got like four or five hours of actually being awake before I have to get ready and get the hell out. And yeah. then so when you spend like seven to eight hours at at Scary Farm. And then maybe f have like four or five hours to yourself. It's <laughs> I really was spending like more of my like conscious time at Scary Farm than than at home. Um, but you know, it, it it was. I found ways to to keep the joy, keep the entertain enthusiasm and entertainment up for myself. And you know, um, came up with strategies because you know you got to do stuff like that. Because as as fun as this job is, it's still like it's still work, um, and it's still tiring. It's exhausting, and so you gotta you gotta figure out ways to really make it you know make it good for you. So, but going into this year, I I was really more excited for for like. It was excited for me and I was excited for a lot of people. I felt like kind of going into this that this year for me meant something a little bit different than than a few other people cuz like for a lot of people they've been like veterans for a long time and and you know they've for some of them this is like pat like like uh hanging up the hat and moving on with their lives and then for me this is kind of the the acclimation year of me like kind of i felt like a transition almost from into a new generation of of scare right. actors and i feel like like in in more ways than one i felt like one of the one of the many monsters who was kind of taken up the torch for for others who have who have uh, been here before um i had some references uh in my in my face this year 
to uh, someone who is a mutual friend of ours. Uh, you are, of course, aware of Michael Beggs being in Carnival. Um, that specific design was uh, done for me by Red, uh, who took some creative liberties and combined Beggs' old face and my face. And she did that without me knowing. And then she said, yo, I did this. And I was like, that's awesome. He just, and, and it, it, it added just this kind of like, like originally I was going to save it for 51, but then I was thinking about it more and I was just like, man, it's the 50th. And I feel like what better than to have a mask that bridges the gap of old haunt and new haunt and takes it off into the future. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm theater kid, dramatic and stuff. So I love all that, that sappy oh, yeah, get you. Like, inner meanings and stuff like that. And, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it, it's not, it, it's not off really that deep, but you know, it's cool to me. No, it's, it's, that's really cool. Especially cause like you said, you've been in here for such a short period of time, but you still figured out a way to kind of acknowledge and and pay tribute to the what was before you. And yeah. now you are, like you said, paving that way to to go forward and launch it into a new direction with some of that same feel, but with new faces. You know what I mean? So um, yeah. it, it's really it's really cool. It's really bittersweet when you think about it. And when you thought of when, you know, you brought up the fact that a lot of them hung their hats up and were retired tired moving on with life that was another bittersweet night i was there on halloween yeah. night for the final night of of not scary farm and to kind of see the mix of emotions that were in the air that night uh with every yeah. zone you know it wasn't just ghost town even though ghost town i know made a kind of um you know like a one last memorial service for kind of like the ones that were retiring and hanging it up for good you know but it was emotional all across the park because you know yeah. i know it's always uh, you know it's always kind of different for you guys because it's both emotional you guys are both ready for it to be over but you're ready for it to not be over at the same time so it's mm -hmm. like you know it's it's the your body's telling you like no nah, we're good for like a year but your your mind is like no nah, we can go like three more months like let's keep going you know it's like but yeah. um you know it, it, it it's something that even looking at it from a fan's perspective you know for someone uh you know there's other people that are even more hardcore than i am that go every single night you know and and to see that the love for everyone you know you feel the emotions not only with the the characters and, and the monsters and everything but with the fans too and and to share yeah. that kind of emotional connection with the fans and and the monsters and, and just everyone you know it's, it's special and that's why i think this year was a very special year because there was a lot of those moments where a lot of people just knew they were going so they just gave it their all and just kind of unveiled that curtain a little bit and they were just like well, we're gonna have fun with this and i was like that is fun like that is cool you go you went out in your own terms and you had fun doing it and uh that's cool but then you you, you know you talk about the future and you know we were talking about carnival this year obviously with a lot of new talent coming on you yourself gained a new running partner um yes, from what we've seen through the season uh talk a little bit about how that was for you i know that um you kind of would bounce around a lot uh in the past but this year ragdoll has a friend um talk to us a little bit about that so and, and um this person is because this person is very yeah. talented as well yes she is um so so I met Tay at March Madness of uh, 2023. Um, side note, I'm so bummed. I'm going to be out of town for doing something we might talk about a little later uh, when March Madness happens. I'm, it's, it's, it's cool that I'm going to be doing this, but oh, I'm going to miss love, it. Um, but you, you, if only you can clone yourself and be at both places at the same time, you know? Yeah, I know, right? Um, so anyway, but last year I met uh, Tay at March Madness, um, and me and a bunch of I I'm I'm not making this up. Me and a bunch of other Carnival clowns. Literally, our reaction was, "You're a little weirdo. We like you." <laughs> like, and it's it, it really doesn't get any deeper than that. She was just like this weird little little dude who would who was like total punk rock and and was like total ADHD all over the place and just super super weird and and stuff and a bunch of us me uh reaper rampage a bunch of other people literally were just like we want to try to get you in carnival 
So we met, a good few of us met with uh, with her for for a while, um, workshopped her character and stuff like that. I was I was a part of that. Um, me me and her. I'm actually one of the reason. I'm actually the reason why her character name is Tiptoe. Uh, and so we we just spitballed things back and forth. Came up with with names, backstories. Uh, we practiced together. We slid together and and figured stuff out. And then when it came came time for the rehire, I did my rehire. I got in. And then a week later was her audition. She goes in, and I, uh, me and Rampage decided to to meet her at the exit uh, to uh, welcome her out. And and you know whatever she ended up getting, we were going to congratulate her and you know see what was up. Um, and this little. This little punk totally messed with us. She, we are waiting out there. We get this text message from her that's like, hey guys, I got some bad news. And I was like, ah, oh, damn it. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to, well, you know, we'll encourage her and be like, you know, you're going to do great wherever you end up. And then she comes out and she's like, I got some bad news. You guys are going to be stuck with me for a month and a half. <laughs> and we were like, yeah. I'm like, and so excited because, um, because you know this ballerina clown that she wanted to do was like because she's a professional like dancer she did like dance competitions and she's like legit um and so this character is just so like special to her and and uh it was really just so so excited to see it happen and we didn't originally plan on being running partners me and her but like when we started like I was just like, all right, you know, we'll run together a little bit. I'll show you through the ropes. We'll figure this whole thing out. And then the more we ran together, the more we realized how much we enjoyed running together because it was just we would we would go together and we would just do some like we would either be weird or aggressive. Both of them are great in carnival. Weirdly and, aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it was like the amount of just totally crazy stuff what we would do that were just where our one collective brain cell just was just goofy for a while um but also like like it was really kind of like a a chance for for me to just kind of help her like really kind of evolve into what she ended up being because she started out and she was at one way and then by the end of the season she was just a completely like evolved well not completely evolved there's still so much that she has yet to do and and she's like a total perfectionist so she's she's like already like there's so much i can do better there's so much da, 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 da. and i'm like you did great first of all <laughs> um but and, but she's like but i can do better and i'm like sure yeah great spirit <laughs> like um but yeah so um that was that was fun we had so much uh we had so much fun and and so had so many just hilarious moments and and it was uh it was just really awesome you know i i never really considered well i mean i considered doing running partners with like people before but it never really happened organically but this just kind of like it made sense to me like when we started running after like a week or two like i was just i was like yeah like why not this makes sense like it feels so natural and it did because you know she would some most of the time you know she would act as kind of that distraction for you for a good mm. slide and i've seen mm. a couple of those throughout the season you know where where she'd be out doing her kind of ballerina gimmick and and you'd come out of nowhere just hit a slide and and kind of drop yeah. some people or scare some people you know and and you know she is she's very talented she's another person that uh we're looking to get on the show pretty soon um oh yeah definitely would love to talk to her about her ideas and and what goes on in, in the head of the ballerina and in, in the midst of the carnival you know so yeah. um but yeah you know it's all, what, that it's, was... all it's all tim burton it's all tim burton like that's all literally it. all that goes on in that head tim burton and danny elfman that, literally yeah. <laughs> well, you know, yeah i get it now that, that's yeah some, that's yeah some good that's that's some good inspiration to pull right there man i mean look if anyone's weirder than us it's them you know and mm -hmm. and they're probably the kings of it and well deserved and well respected um yeah you know, it, it's 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 something that uh, I I like seeing that too because I I've gotten to see that in the past years that I've been going to to Scary Farm. Um, it's almost like you took her under your wing as kind of like 
in a way uh and you didn't even have to because i don't even think you you really had it was it was almost like a mentorship you know what i mean in the sense of like you know kind of showing her the the ropes of of carnival specifically you know i've always said that uh you know carnival and goring 20s are two of two of the probably hardest scare zones to scare in because there's no darkness to hide you know you're Mm -hmm. you're in the spotlight 24 7 so you got to get very creative of what you guys do and the reason why i said that she probably wasn't you know it wasn't more of a mentorship it was because like you said she came up with her own gimmick she's still trying to perfect her gimmicks and uh you were just kind of there to like have her back and for kind of the support right there you know what i mean so yeah yeah like everyone needs support like no matter who you are and like and and like we were we were literally talking about it today me and her i was just like dude like like you did all this stuff and you don't have to feel like like we were like holding you up when it, like and and pushing you ahead like you did all this stuff i was just here like yeah I, ju- I just had your back. The best picture of the two of us is literally when she uh, got the opportunity to have her character have makeup. And someone took this awesome shot of her just like walking in front of me. And I'm just looming behind her. Like, and it's, and that's literally how it was. She's up front, like being the, being the ballerina, being the front of the show. And then I'm just waiting in the back, just waiting for someone. And, 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 you know, it's, it's, it was, it was just so, um, yeah, it, it was, it was really cool. I like, I am attracted to enthusiastic people. Like right. when people come into scary farm and they're like, dude, I have all these ideas. I'm so excited. Like, this is going to be fun. It, yes. It, cause like, cause like when it, when it, especially when I see that it comes from a genuine place. Cause I mean, that's like, like people have ever, everyone who comes into haunt has like intentions of one way or another. And, you know, um, and, and so when, but when I see like a genuine, excitement and a genuine love for what we get to do like for me that's like the most valuable thing you can have because that will it demands excellence if that makes sense like you you can't it's it's like what it's like what quentin tarantino says about 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 making movies he says like like it doesn't matter about the gear. It doesn't matter about the frame rate or anything like that. If you truly love movies and you really love them, you can't help but make a good movie. And it's the same with this. If you truly love this event and you truly like are with, like, it demands for you to put 100% of yourself into this. And it demands for you to bring the best that you can forward. And that is when the truly uh unique and creative characters like manifest themselves and it's really awesome to see and i i i mean i love living vicariously through the people who who come up with this stuff and and i love helping people because like like then i feel like a small part of that and you know it's uh it's just it's so cool to see dude and speaking more on like the creativity and the artistic you know the the artistically talented people out there you know how cool is it every single year to see all those photos and all those videos of all this different talent and you know how artistic people are you know as far as like you know with the editing of photos or or videos like how cool how nuts is it to see like you're a part of that process now it's like you are the art and they're trying to make you like pop even more like that must be mind-blowing you know it's really humbling if I'm being completely honest. I see I see this and I'm just I mean like cuz like it at the end of the day I I break the I I do this to keep myself humble because I remember like like coming into this and and you know having these grand like things of myself or whatever, you know. It's just it, you know when when you have a lot of people telling you you're doing a good job, you can't help but develop a, a little bit of an ego. Uh, but to remember to keep myself humble, I remember it's a minimum wage job. It's only it's a seasonal job, <laughs> and I get paid to to put on a silly costume and free, and go <laughs> like. <laughs> and so, like at the end of the day, but at the same time, that being what it is, we have the 
freedom to to put so much of ourselves into it and that shouldn't be like dis- discredited um but like we don't have to like they don't have to come here and film us they don't have to come here and 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 take pictures of us you don't have to do interviews with us like there are so many people like you and and the photographers and the videographers and the and the people coming into art where i'm just like it's 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 so awesome to see like i have so much of the stuff that i that i've picked up uh like on my desk like right here like here's this art piece from from this year um this is something from from 2021 a little polaroid of me uh i've got like a bunch of different stuff and and trinkets and knickknacks and stuff that people give to me and it's just like it's so like it's so cool because it's like like at the end of the day i don't i don't i don't really see it as like I, I try like, you know, it's, it's praise for me, but like, I also see it as like, dude, I like was able to impact these people's lives in one way or another, and maybe even make it just a little bit better. And that's just a really cool thing. Like, like at the end of the day, it's, I'm just, I'm just so happy they're here, you know? Oh yeah, no. And, and, and I, I think that's the good thing about the fans is they're going to keep coming back. You know, they oh, want to yeah. see what's going to be, what's how they're going to improve on that idea from last year to this year, you know? And yeah, I'm excited. This community to see is what, insane. Oh yeah. I'm excited to see what happens in 51 dude. Cause you know, it, 50 was a solid year. I, I had really, I had very little complaints about it. And, and even the complaints I had were not nothing to like, really like, fuss about you know but you know it was just it was little things here and there but for the most part i i love the 50th i had a great time every single weekend um you know from from start we were there from day one and and we we ended it with with scary farm on halloween um you know it was a lot of fun this you know this year i'm looking forward to it because um a lot of haunts are you know staying open till november 2nd this year so that should be a lot of fun you know a little extra weekend there i kind of like that um yeah but you know it's it's you know it was great to see uh a lot of yeah, like you said a lot of the development this year from from people who who have been there since you know and I'm talking post pandemic uh haunt you know to see the that you know that 3 year gap of from 21 to where we are today you know and and to see how much has improved within that zone and then who's come on board this year who you know everything so I'm excited to see what happens with everything in 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 20 or this year in 24, yeah. you know, it should be, it should be a lot of fun. Um, looking forward to that. Um, now, as far as, 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 you know, from where, you know, you started to where you are now, um, you know, the character has changed so much since we last talked to you, you know, there, there's been so much improvement from year one ragdoll to, to, to year three ragdoll. Um, and that started with year, obviously year two was a big involvement as well. Um, we, we did discuss now your vocal, now you're sliding. The costume looks different. The 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 face looks different. Um, you actually go full blown in character, and you dye the hair every season. Um, and thank God you didn't get hopefully an allergic reaction this year. Um, Not this time for anyone so we who, found, who so doesn't. We found the right we found the right hair dye. So let's remember that yeah. for this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For anyone who doesn't know, I'm like super allergic to to like this chemical called PPD, which is in like Oops. most hair dyes, and and like. It's it's like 2022. Oh my gosh, to add, dude! To, add to like you said, you weren't even you were already having a bad 2022, and to add to that, you had a freaking allergic reaction on your head, dude. It, it's not just the head too; it spreads to the rest of the body, and it gets all itchy. It's like, oh god, it sucks. I swear, like for like six months after Haunt, I had to take like an allergy pill every day just to keep from bursting out in the hives. It sucked. <laughs> Hey, we're oh. back though. We found we found the we found the no chemical in the yes. in the thing. We're gonna keep buying <laughs> that one. Make sure that it keeps oh, yeah. not having that chemical. Yeah, um, yeah. No, but the, the, I mean, it looked great. I love when you guys actually go full commitment and to actually dye your hair. I know that red is a staple for Carnival, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it was cool. Uh, I, I had a lot of fun going through. I mean, you guys had you guys got a new maze this year as well with Cinema Slasher. That must have been fun to, yeah. to play on that line a lot. That was always popping every single week, and I saw it. Yeah, yeah, Cinema Slasher was great. I um I only went through it once on my night off, um, which was fun. Uh, 
it was although i will say that like i went <laughs> the one thing i went through the maze and i was like oh wow wow this is so cool and then some guy leered at me and he just goes oh, mr beast and i went oh god damn it <laughs> bro you mr beast now man you, you're the haunt mr beast now you gotta make now you gotta make reality you gotta make dreams become realities there you gotta get people oh my and shit. god <laughs> oh my gosh you're like i'm gonna get me a tesla first before i get anyone else a tesla. I, didn't, I didn't even mean for that to happen <laughs> i did it one time and it blew the hell up now you gotta buy everyone <laughs> teslas now you gotta give everyone half a million dollars like i hope you're ready for this life now yeah <laughs> Man, you gotta get it yeah, you, uh, yeah. you gotta get a show deal with amazon because you know that's the next yeah. step in his career oh man uh dude i was just watching a lot of mr beast videos at the time and it was and all the vloggers were coming do, through they're great. Yeah, they're great yeah yeah um but yeah slasher was awesome uh we had a uh i mean i i didn't go in there although i uh i wanted to it would have been cool it would have been nice to get kicked out of another maze uh in <laughs> two years in a row but um but uh um but that that one that one was funny because uh you know um Aaron and um, um, the 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 and the knife guy and the butcher. Aaron and 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 Corey. Aaron and Corey from Ghost Town. Yeah, 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 yeah. So one time we're walking by that break, the the entrance. All of a sudden, those two just walk out of the fog of the of the room, and we're just like, "What the hell are you doing here?" And they were like, "We were in Slasher," and I was like, "Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense." Yeah, they actually would. They'd fit in perfect too, because you know they, they like, did. Yeah, you know, dude, it was insane. I saw a video of Corey, and he was up there with the giant ass chainsaw, and he was just slamming that thing at people. And I That's was hilarious. like, "Whoa, Man. dude, that chainsaw yeah. is so sick!" Oh yeah, dude, dude, I I would have, dude, dude if I could have. Like, that gave me some like mean Mad Max vibes for sure. Man, if I could have snuck in there for an hour, that's what oh, you would have gotten for sure. The chainsaw. Oh, I would have. I would have. I would have wrecking balled that chainsaw. I would have jumped up on top and started swinging. <laughs> not really. Even, not really. If anyone's listening, <laughs> I would have loved to either been in the uh, the sorority one or or camp gonna get you or uh, in any yeah. of the theater rooms because I'm like those were those look fun to me. Like I I, I had so many ideas of like I can pop up and hide and shit like. I mean, that, yeah. that maze was just a brilliant concept, and, and I can't wait oh, to yeah. go back to it again. It took me a second, like, walking through it before I realized what was happening. And I was like, oh, man, we're walking into the movies. This is sick. And it was like, I like yeah. That at the end, you're walking out of the screen instead of into a screen. Yeah. Yeah, it was super cool. It was a really fun concept. I really hope it sticks around. It was still, like, a little bit more backstory about it, though. Like, is this, like, a supernatural being? Is this, like... Is the supernatural being going into the films and disguising himself as a killer, and that's what's going on? Like, what's going on here? Like, it, it, I kind of understand it, but it's like at the same time, like, why? Why? The, it, what's wrong with it? Did the witch, the witch's book, hit the cinema and it cursed it? And this is what's going on? Like, what's what's happening? You know? I mean, yeah. it's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I get it going through each movie, and I'm like, okay, this is cool. But yeah, obviously, yeah. I mean, if you paid attention, there was all references to the past mazes and stuff, set pieces and all that. So. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a dope maze. I really enjoyed yeah. it. And I thought I thought it was really um I thought it was really cool. It was my favorite of the new mazes. I guess I'm just a story nerd when it comes down to it. I just I always I'm like, well, what's the fact story? I want to know how this yeah. is the way it is. Oh yeah, that stuff is really cool. That's where you find like the real like that's that's the real magic behind it, all this stuff, yeah. you know? It's 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 it like like they don't just like make a spooky maze. I mean like the 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 passion that goes into it will will like create great stuff it it goes back to the what i said about about actors it's the same thing with the mazes like they they're they need to have that kind of passion with these mazes or else they're like you walk through and you're just like this is just anything this this could have been anything like oh 100% but yeah so yeah dude yeah um overall uh, how would you rate this year for you? Uh, for for fifty, was it was a very memorable year? Was it a good comeback year from twenty two? A lot better for you, at least uh, mentally and and physically, at least. Definitely, yeah. It was definitely it was definitely much better for me. Um, 
it was I, I felt really accomplished at the end of it. I I was able to do a lot of things that I that I'd wanted to do and and really like 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 do it for me, you know, like it, it like like I'm one of those people where I I I don't care what other people think, but like at the end of the day, like if 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 someone's like I, I, I like being getting like affirmation and 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 like being told I'm doing a good job and stuff like that. So I think that like this is the year that I kind of just kind of let that kind of take a back seat and it's like it'll be cool if it happens. But you know what? Just keep going. Do your thing. And and I feel like this was the year that like I really was able to um, just when I put all that stuff to the side and when I put all that like put the killing it cards aside, put the 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 praise from the higher ups aside, put like the like, the awards or whatever aside, it really allows me to like it really allowed me to just kind of let loose and, and have fun. And like it, it ended up being extremely successful on, on that end. Um, and on, and on other ends, like it be, it was successful and I didn't even try. Like, so it was, it was just like, Whoa, you know, it, it was a real noticeable difference. And I really felt comfortable in my own skin out there. It was, it was so much fun. Oh, 100 percent, man. Now I got it before we 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 uh we say we we know we close the chapter with 2023 and and you know let it rest in peace. There is one thing I ha- I have been meaning to talk to you about, and that is um I noticed this year in uh the gauntlet, okay, there was this person who I do not know who it was, but this person who did a lot of similar movements like you. Uh, with the crawling on all fours and everything like that. And I know you're really good at stuff like that. And you're a very flexible, a flexible person when it comes to to, to things like that. My dream is knowing that I always called him gauntlet ragdoll, by the way, it was, that was gauntlet ragdoll. (laughs) We had Carnival ragdoll. Carnival was the original gauntlet ragdolls junior. So, um, Oh yeah. Uh, we had gauntlet ragdoll and we had carnival ragdoll, but, uh, gauntlet ragdoll, um, this person was just energetic, no pads. I, I think it was their first year on streets maybe um, and made the most out of what they could with the character they were given, um, especially when it came time for the slider show. You know, they they would still come out, do their gimmick, really wow the crowd and still be involved with the slider show. Like this person, like I, I, I need to find this person. I need to have a conversation with this person and I need you two to, to either scare one day or to, to, to meet or to talk to each other. Cause your movements are very similar. And I can see if you guys were doing running partners, I think guests would just be freaked out if you guys were just all both on fours, just coming at each other and then stand up and then just scare the person. Like, I think people would lose their shit. Dude. I love seeing like, like, I mean, I obviously have a soft spot for for any anyone who is like crawling around doing all this crazy stuff because you know that's that's the stuff I love to do. Yeah. Uh, there was someone there was someone like that in Forsaken. Uh, this dude named Zach. I still haven't met him yet, but I'm I want to. Um, and he was like he worked at like you. Uh, man, whoever was it? he works at like Disneyland. He was like one of the stunt Spider Men, and he okay. would like. He'd walk around, he would stop, he'd do a backflip, and then he'd just start crawling at people. And I was like, Wow. What in the what? You're like, goals, <laughs> dude. I got a big goal set to do that now. Dude, I literally like walked by him like like on my night off, and I was just like, You're the best person here. <laughs> and, <laughs> and like, like, yeah, it was great. Like, and and uh I think he ended up running rookie of the year as he damn well should have. Uh, yeah, um, well deserved but, as it is. Yeah. But, um, but, uh, I, I, I have not heard of this, uh, person in, in gauntlet, uh, but, uh, (laughs) (laughs) gauntlet ragdoll very well. Um, but like that, that was, um, yeah, I love, I love seeing that kind of commitment of, of physicality because it's not easy. Like it, it definitely is like, like, like I don't just show up and, and, and do it. 
Like right. there's an, there's an entire like preparation for me. Like I, I, I like soak in a hot tub. I ice myself. Stretch I like, I, take pain, I, I stretch it out. I gotta I take pain medication. Like it, there's, there's an entire, and, and this year I'm, 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 I'm going to start hitting the gym and, and get, and building up endurance and, and just making it so that I can go into it with, with, uh, higher energy and, and, uh, endurance, you know, overall. Um, because, you know, that stuff is important. Like if I were, if I, like, I have, I have slacked on my, my, uh, my routine before and gone in and I've just been dog shit, dude. It's like, it's right. insane. And so that like, whenever I see people doing stuff like that, like a lot, um, it's, it's really awesome because I'm just like, okay, yeah, they, they could have just done like, you know, basic jump out and stuff like that. But like, they chose to, to really kind of try to think outside the box and, and go in a, in a different oh, direction. Dude. Dude, I love seeing, thing, yeah. Yeah. I love seeing that everywhere, dude. I walked through in 2022, I walked through dark entities and I saw, I walked down a hallway and, and some dude did a crab walk right by me. And I was like, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> dude. And you know what's funny is one of the best things I caught on camera of of this person in, in Gauntlet was this person just got off break and you know where their break room is right above the yeah. the restaurant right there and yeah. um you know they got off break and they jumped over the rope because it's roped off so you can't go upstairs and they jumped over the rope literally went down immediately and just started doing it and took off into the fog I was like I just got that Hell on camera yeah. that was so cool. Okay, Dude, you're gonna have to send that to me when we're done. With this. I'm probably gonna put it in this podcast as a reference video because uh, that 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 was insane for me. Um, Please do. Oh yeah. Uh, now, 2023, another chapter of your haunt career uh, come to a close. Uh, written, stamped, sealed of approved. Uh, you know, in, in the world of of haunt, everything's unpredictable. We don't know until you know casting happens, all that stuff. Uh, if you do come back. Uh, you know, for, for 2024 with Carnival again, um, are we going to see changes to the character? Are we going to, are you know, is there some new stuff that you're, you're working on? Is there stuff you, that you want to try out? You know, I know you don't want to give away too much, but can you give the fans a little taste of, of, of what Ragdoll 2024 will look like and sound yeah. like, feel like. So, so, um, 2024 is kind of up in the air a little bit right now because for me, I uh, um, things are going to be happening. I'm going to be finishing school in a few months, and then I'm going to like try get a full time job and and really uh, you know start that. So you know, I'm not entirely sure what that uh, is going to look like. Uh, I really hope that I can uh, that my schedule will will work out. But you know, it is unknown. But I'm going to do rest assured. I will do everything in my power to make it happen. Um, and you know, if, if a bunch of people can do it, then I probably can too. Uh, yeah. just gotta, yeah. Sacrifice some sleep hours. Not, I'm not used to, Hey, you know, um, what's a little, you, yeah. you need normally about two hours. You'd be all right. What's a little insomnia, you know, yeah. it's all good. Yeah. So, so, so we'll see, but, um, assuming I do go back, which would be a high probability. Um, I, I really want to, uh, continue the, the, steps that I've taken this year to kind of make, make ragdoll the, the more like, like in, I, I always had the, I like for the first two years of doing the character, I really wanted to play him like, like just as rabid animal, like just absolutely insane. Just like going around like, and just like crazy and stuff. And this year I really kind of wanted to add a level of focus to the character because I wanted to see it, how terrifying that might be. And the idea I had is like, you're trapped in the room with an animal and he's like ripping apart the walls and stuff like that. And that's pretty terrifying. And then imagine the animal just stops and looks at you. Mm -hmm. Then it's like, oh, he knows you're there. He's consciously aware that you are there and he's going to mess you up. Like he, that I mean, was kind he of kind of he kind of gave you the preview with the walls, and now you're just looking around like, yeah. "Fuck, I'm next." Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that was kind of the 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 
the energy I wanted to bring to my character this year. And I mean, like the best scares I that I had were literally I wasn't even doing anything. I was standing at the be- at the front of Carnival, and people would start walking in, and I would just look at them, and they would go, "I'm gonna go the other way." Uncomfortable, <laughs> and, and uncomfortable and silence and, is always the best yeah. scare. And that and that's the the I, I want to see where I can take that and see how like you know there's always more I can do and more I can expand and you know try new things keep it interesting have some fun and uh, you know so as far as the the look goes I have a few ideas I'm I'm a simple guy at the end of the day I, I like I I don't want my character to like I I don't need my character to stand out in a massive way like. I, the face will the face remain as far as still i'm i'm planning to have the face remain the same it, like the the concept and design um maybe i'll tweak some stuff but overall i i like what what happened last year i think it right i think it it captured a level of uh intensity that i really i really wanted to uh i want to keep going right. um so yeah you know i i think that Overall, it's not going to be massive changes, but there will be, you know, tweaks and alterations. It's not going to be like the last few years where there were like massive changes to the face or stuff like that. But, you know, I do have, I have a few costume ideas I want to try out. Nothing too major, but, you know, a change of the style, uh, maybe a new shirt, something like that. And it's, I'm very, again, I'm really simple. It's literally just, you know, a little tweak here, a little tweak there. And, you know, just fine tuning, if you will. So we'll leave it at this. Ragdoll 2024 question mark dot dot dot. I guess so. That that we'll works leave for it me. at that too. See now. Um no, I, I do wish you the best, uh, whatever you decide to do this year. Uh, I really do. Thanks. But uh this is the yeah. portion of the podcast where we're gonna leave the character of Ragdoll behind for a little bit and we're gonna talk to the person that is Kane. Um you got a lot going on, bro. You 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 ended haunt season and you went full force. It looks like into your, your, your passion for music. Um, and, and amongst other things, you know, you got school going on and everything. So talk to us about, uh, how that, that music road and that, and that, and that, that path, uh, has has been going for you. Yeah. So, um, for school, this has been a, a really long journey for me. Um, I've done, uh, two years at a school called citrus college where I got an associate science degree in audio engineering, uh, in the last uh, two ish years, um, I have been uh, at a LA Film and Recording School, uh, trying to turn that associates into a bachelor's, and uh, that's going to happen. I'm graduating at the end of April, so you know, five year. It's I mean, it's it's four official school years, but it's like five years of of total work because I ended up taking like a semester uh, or so off to do Haunt my first year. Um, and then, uh, yeah. So, so this uh, this is the uh, the end of a a long journey that I'm I'm really excited to uh, to continue in other facets of my life. Uh, and uh, yeah, as for the as for the music, uh, about a year and a half ago, I joined a, a thrash metal project called uh, Seizure, which is a, a wizard metal band uh, nice. to be uh, specific. We all sing about Harry Potter, Dungeons and Dragons, and all that cool stuff. Um, and we're so, uh, more than that, Dio did it before us, and now we're continuing the legacy. Hell yeah, dude! And so uh, we, uh, I, uh, I joined that project. Uh, we went on a short uh, tour across some southern states last year, um, and then uh, this year is uh, crazy because in a month. Me and my boys will be going out to Europe, and we're gonna be uh, checking out uh, checking out the overseas area. I've never been before, much less for music. So it's going to be uh, quite a time. We have been planning this for about a year now, and uh, we've put uh, so much time, work, money into this, and uh, to see it finally start to come into fruition. And in, in the like, we've been we uh, just got halfway through our rehearsals and run throughs, and so. We still have a lot of stuff to do before uh, before we actually leave, but but it's right around the corner, dude. So you're telling me Caesar is doing a European tour? Indeed, we were supposed to do it in November, actually, but you know, 
complicated stuff happened. We had to postpone it, but you know, it was for the best because like last time we did a tour, we kind of just settled for what we could get. Um, and, uh, you know, we got what we settled for. Um, and so this year we decided, okay, let's not do that and let's push it back a few months. Uh, and I actually liked that because the original plan was that I was going to do the carnival banquet and then literally the next day get on a flight to Europe. And I was like, I can, but I really don't want to. You're like, let me enjoy the rest of the weekend and then let you know, me we'll enjoy. Talk let me let me enjoy have some yeah. be beverages with my homies and just really celebrate this whole thing. But you know. We, we ended up pushing it back. It's into the, into February. I'm going to take a month off school and I'm going to head on out there and really, uh, get a taste of what Europe has to offer for us, uh, little metalheads. So, uh, if you don't mind me asking, um, or if, I don't, if you, if you can't answer, it's all cool. Uh, how many shows are you guys doing out there? Um, yeah, we're doing, uh, seven shows. Uh, I believe two of them are in Scotland and five, the other five are in England nice um, yeah and so we're gonna start at scotland play a show we're gonna go all the way down to the bottom of england and then we're gonna work our way back up dude you're gonna you need you, need, you realize going in that area man you are in music royalty down there man there is so many bands that came over from the uk that just destroyed america and music i'm sorry to say it i mean don't get me wrong the American guys were great too, but these UK guys, man, when the British invasion happened back in the sixties and continued we into would, the seventies and eighties, man, we wouldn't damn. have had bands like Metallica and Megadeth and Slayer if not for those guys, you know, Ozzy, Iron Maiden, Osborne, Motorhead, Black Sabbath, Ozzy, yeah. Black Sabbath, yeah, you know, all those guys, and and you know, it's Zeppelin. it's crazy because yeah, all these all these these legends and absolute giants, and you know, are actually we're making uh, plans to uh, visit uh, Abbey Road. Uh, yes. just to take a look around, you know, and, and, uh, and of course us being banned, we're going to have to take the yeah, picture. You got it. It's, it, you do not, not go to Abbey Road and not do the picture. Like that's yeah. the, one of the greatest <laughs> albums of all time by the Beatles. And mm -hmm. you know, that's, yeah. that's an iconic picture. You know, you got to do, who's going to, who's going to do the barefoot. Who's going to be Paul McCartney. Oh, that's me. That's <laughs> yeah. you. You do Paul. Yeah. Bass, bass player. You can put the shoes and the socks on the sidewalk real quick and take it. <laughs> There you go, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Dude, congratulations, man. So you're just going on a European tour, man. You guys are going to have some fun tearing it up in, in Europe. And, you know, oh, many yeah. have done it before you. And you guys are just adding to that legacy, man. Congratulations. And, and I, from what I know, um, overseas, the metal scene, the music scene is just so much bigger and so much more committed out there. Um, I, I want to go to so many festivals that are out there. You know, the Download Festival is, is always out there. Resurrection Fest. You know, all these great yeah. festivals. And I want to go. And they're all over there. And, man. Man, these guys are passionate, so I, I think you'll have some good crowds. Are you guys opening for anybody? You guys headlining? Like, how's this working out? We are uh, doing a joint tour with a band. I believe their name is uh, Tyrannus, and uh -huh. uh, they are they're uh, they're a, a black metal gig uh, band, I believe. Um, and uh, I can't talk, <laughs> but um, <laughs> but uh, um, they I. Um, they're they've been uh very gracious in helping us out with the planning and scheduling because you know when you're doing tours you have like you have to have some people out there who you know know when you don't have a booking agent or anything like that because we're completely self-managed um we do all the business ourselves and you know i can't even take credit for the business side because that's like joey the lead singer this is his baby and yeah. he's he's uh he does so much work uh to uh, make all this stuff so happen. Like at this and point, I'm planning. just fortunate enough to be involved in this project, you know? Yeah. I mean, like I, I, I've, uh, I've had a lot of, uh, of hands in this. I've, I've been able to, um, I mean, I've been able to use my, my audio expertise to, uh, Oh yeah. Uh, really round the show into, into what it has been uh, for the past year or so. Um, and, uh, it'll only continue to do so because, uh, you know, I have, I have plans on, on that, end of the uh the the music world with uh with seizure as well we're we're putting together some stuff uh on a uh on a gig and and uh uh gear uh standpoint like i'm still having trouble talking uh on a on a uh gear level uh to really kind of elevate our shows and and bring it into into what they can be because our our vision is really just to put a 
a massive show into a small environment. Like we really want to yeah. have people, we really want to, cause a lot of people like, they're like, oh, well, you know, we're playing on this small stage. We can't like, we can't do a lot. And we want to be like, no, you can Like we have this, we want to put together like a theatrical performance on these like stages. We want people to, to be see something with it. us that they've, that yeah, get immersed and see something that they've never seen before. You know, right. like that's why, that's why we have like these, these crazy intros to our songs and, and these props on stage and these outfits and stuff. It's all to to make you feel like you're stepping in this. You know, it's like Joey says at the be like around the beginning of every show. He says, "For the next thirty minutes, you're all wizards," and it's 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 to make us all be like, "Hey, let's just forget about everything for a second and just get immersed in in fantasy and fun." You know, mm-hmm. and and I I I I'm all for that, and it's um. Yeah, I'm I'm so excited to be able to uh to take that show overseas and then we're going to come back and then we have uh we have some other plans in the United States uh at some point this year uh so we're we're by no means slowing down. This is uh this is another another step on the uh on the uh on the ladder, but uh and we're just going to keep climbing. I mean, dude, you're living the life a lot of a lot of up and coming people would love to live is it's just to take that that European tour, you know, and even if even if like you were to never do this again, like ever, you know, like at least you can say, I got to go to Europe and do a mini tour. Like how many people can say they've actually done that, you know? Yeah. So you know, as far yeah. as you know, as far as like as far as indie projects go, you know what I mean? Like how many people can you say it actually it's working their way up to the big leagues, you know? It's like, you know, it does take time. Trust me, I know more than anyone. It takes a lot of time and a lot of effort, a lot of hours put in and and you're not getting paid 99% of the time, but you want to make that great content to be different from somebody and, and to be noticed by like, look what we have to offer. You know, I know exactly how that goes creating stuff, man. It, it's, it is a struggle, but in the end of the day, it's always worth it. Cause then you look at it and you're like, damn, it actually, it actually had a pretty good reaction. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's great. I mean, like we, on our, on our last tour, we had some shows that were like that. Um, the easily the best show of the entire one was we got to play uh, in Houston, Texas on uh, New Year's Eve. And let me tell you, Houston, Texas threw the fuck down, my guy. Like, these guys came out and, like, they just wrecked the place. It was awesome. We had, like, we just had, to like, nonstop circle pits and we were just, and uh, it was awesome. We had so much fun. And um, it was just so great to, uh, to, like, at the end of the day, the, best part about touring is going around and meeting all these people and just like, and playing for all these people that like, like, I mean, you may never see these people again, but for that 30 minutes, like you're, you're the, you give them the best fucking time of their life. Oh yeah. It's yeah. that's the, that's the idea. And, uh, so I'm super excited for that. Super excited to meet people and, and, and talk to, to people and, uh, you know, just, just, just really experience this this uh this amazing place and i i just uh, i just asked no matter what it is just bring me back a a piece like a a souvenir of something rock and roll related that way i know it's certified stamp from the uk it can be as small it it can be as small as a guitar pick you know from the uk like even if you want to give me one of your picks from the tour yeah, I'll see what I can do, dude. I'll see what I can do. You the man. Um, for anyone who wants to listen to Seizure's music, though, where where are you guys? Where can they listen to it? Where can they uh, find your guys' music so they can give it a listen and and support the band? So uh, we are uh, Seizure on uh, iTunes, Apple Music, uh, Spotify. Um, if you uh, find a uh, Spotify or Apple Music channel and the last album is a dragon with a guy getting seared the fuck down, then you know you've, you're you at the right place. Yes. Um, the uh, the uh, Instagram account is uh, at seizure.band underscore official. Um, and you can uh, find our uh, our links in our uh, bio uh, for, um, you know, merch. And, and we've got some new merch uh, stuff that's going to be coming out soon. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Keep Follow us on uh, Spotify, Apple Music, so you can see some new release that may or may not be coming out within the next few months. Um, and, uh, yep. Yeah, and, uh, you know, uh, so, uh, yeah, 
overall, that's uh, that's where I would uh, that's where I would look to find us. Uh, but yeah. Man, twenty twenty three, a busy season for you, haunt wise. Twenty twenty three, going into twenty four, you're now preparing to go on a European tour. Man, incredibly proud of you. Incredibly proud of all the energy that you brought for the fiftieth. Um, incredibly proud of you for what you're going what you're doing in your personal life as far as uh schooling to uh better your your career and and you know for music and sound and everything um and to really get the opportunity to play in a band that is touring um as you guys heard they got some european dates so if anyone's watching from europe uh you know they're going to be in scotland they're going to be in england so so look out seizure is coming in february look out it's going to be a, a, a fun time don't miss them all the way from southern california to you right there in Europe. That's halfway across the world right there. Uh, you know oh, yeah. what I mean? It's the other side of the world at that point. Across from the pond, as they would say. Um, Eight hours ahead, dude. I'm going to be jet lagged as fuck. Try to take a nice nap, hopefully. Take some like sleeping pills with you that you could take a boot and take off or something. You know, you're going to be too excited. You're going to freaking Europe and you're going to be on tour. Yeah, yeah. Be, if Honda's taught me anything, it's how to live off of uh, lack of sleep. Yeah, and C4. <laughs> and C4. Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to be in another country, though, so you got to see what their equivalent to that. Maybe it's even stronger out there. Oh, I don't. Try to, try to, try to, uh, yeah, try as much food and snacks as you can that you don't see Dude. from over here, man. Like, take advantage can't, of it, man. Have can't fun. wait to, can't wait to have a proper pint of Guinness. There it is. Proper... You guys going to the factory? So I don't think we'll be going to the factory. We don't probably won't have time, but definitely go to one of the local pubs, pubs. and uh, get a nice warm pint of Guinness because apparently it serves warm over there. I don't. I don't know. That's what I heard. <laughs> Maybe the I, whatever the ingredients are in it, like the meat and whatnot, tastes better like that. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Hey, if it's, hey, they created it over there. They got a. They got a thing over there. Let's let them have their thing. Listen, if if the Scot if, yeah, if if the Scottish know anything, it's how to make alcohol. So you know, I'm gonna yeah. trust them. Oh, 100. percent. Um, yeah. anyone who's know, Irish got super offended at that. <laughs> uh, and then you mentioned, uh, which I assume we'll get announced later uh, in the future. You got some U.S. dates coming up again, so uh, we'll keep an an eye out on that. Follow all our socials to uh, know when they're gonna be coming at a city near you. You never know; they might be traveling more places in the future. Who knows? Um, don't you know? If the if the if the stars align, they might be coming to a city near you pretty soon. Who could say? I didn't say before that we plan things a year in advance. Who could say? You know, I'm just saying, uh, maybe a, a countrywide house blues tour. Oh, that that'd be fun. I think it would. Oh, um, that'd be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, in all seriousness, Kane, it, it's been a pleasure to catch up with you again and to talk with you and to see what's going on. Um, if they want to follow you personally, though, where can they find you on on social media? Uh, you can find me at the Kane Rocks on Instagram. That's pretty much the only thing I use. So if you want to find me there, then that's what you look for. If you want to find me in other places, tough. That's it. Just the Instagram. Hey, Instagram's really like the kind of only social media you need these days. It's a picture. It's yeah. posting. It's stories. It's got it all. Reels, you know. It's got it all. You don't even it's need TikTok at this point because it'll probably be on. There'll be TikToks. It'll on be. In, it'll be on TikTok. It, it'll be from TikTok to Instagram in three days. I'm cool yeah. waiting three days. Yeah, I don't. I don't care about a lag. <laughs> as long as I'm in the trend of things within that period of time, we're good. You know, it's like. Yeah. we're good uh we look, we look forward to seeing uh the future man we can't wait um to see what comes next from the great cane man uh appreciate Thanks, you dude. uh everyone loves you my girlfriend says hi and she Hello. says that she enjoyed uh watching you and 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 the punk loser herself out there this year yes yes yeah and uh thank uh, i you enjoyed seeing you guys out here uh out there it's always always a pleasure to talk with you and see you out there it's it's so fun watching you run around with your camera and film us weirdos like do our thing and and uh thanks again and thanks again for for having me on thanks for this whole uh like insider of of these monsters and these amazing people who create these really cool things because you know you got people like you are keeping the fandom uh alive and well for uh for a lot of people and uh bringing new people into it. So, you know, at the end of the day, uh, we're all a part of what makes this uh, entire hump community go around. I only have one response to that, and that's, as said famous by one of my one of my heroes, L.A. Knight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Hell yeah. 
Yeah, man, I, I, I'm incredibly grateful. Um, you know, someone asked me, you know, like one day uh, about the podcast is like, why don't you try to get more celebrities on on the on the podcast? And I and my my simple response to that was, are you kidding me? I've had a lot of celebrities on my podcast. I look at these, I look at you guys, look at everybody out there, and then the haunt world as celebrities because you know we're the re- you're the reasons we come to these events. We like to see these themings of these zones, these, and you're the reason why these stories come to life. You know, as far as you know, there's, there's a whole group of people that bring these stories to life. But like when it's all said and done, if there's no actors, there's no monsters. You know, it there's there's really no story to be told. So that's a huge part of it. And so you guys, I've had so many celebrities on the thing that I can even call friends today. Um, I've had dream interviews with monsters that I've always wanted to interview just to get a backstory of where they came from, how they came from, you know, all that stuff. So it, it's been an absolute pleasure. And I'm going to continue to do this. And when we're reaching episode 200 very quickly. So I don't even know who's yeah, going to be on the 200th episode. I don't even know who's going to be on the 200th episode yet. I'm, I'm trying so hard to like figure out who's going to be because I want that to be a milestone of an episode. Um, got to get a uh, got to get an Arthur's round table of a bunch of haunt legends. I do. huh? And I got to do it in person in front of a live studio oh. audience. Mm, that's not a bad that, idea. That isn't a bad idea. It really isn't. You can have that one for free. <laughs> Next time I give you a good idea, I'll charge you. <laughs> all right, yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll give you your own compilation next year. It's all good. Oh, okay. It's got to okay. be the Aerosmith <laughs> ragdoll, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not uh, that one. <laughs> Uh, with all that being said, if you guys uh, liked what you saw today, uh, check out our previous episodes of the podcast. We've interviewed so many great and uh, t- uh, monsters out there from various events you name it halloween horror nights hayride not scary farm queen mary shacktoberfest you know we've we've done an independent haunt scene we've done it man um check them out there's a lot of great and talented people out there uh, a lot of stories that uh i'm glad that we got to tell help tell on this show uh canes included uh this is your now second appearance this is becoming a lot like snl when i get a host like people literally like i have a few people that actually will count how many times they've been on the podcast to compete with other people um vincent and aj <laughs> um <laughs> and i think yeah. the last time i checked vincent probably is my most uh brought on guest but that's because he was on a season to shoot the shit so you know i love vincent anyway uh oh yeah leave some comments down below for kane wish him good luck on his european tour and any uh any great comments you have for ragdoll 2023 it was a great season he helped make it a great season as well uh and yeah subscribe to the channel follow us on all of our socials hit that like button and uh until next time stay spooky click the link in the description for 25 percent off nord vpn Wait, we have that?